Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a journey back through the annals of sports history to revisit one of its most enthralling rivalries, Magic Johnson versus Larry Bird. This wasn't just any basketball rivalry. It was a colossal clash of titans, a showdown that pitted the storied East Coast against the glamorous West Coast, exemplified by the iconic Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers. This confrontation went beyond the boundaries of the basketball court, evolving into a powerful narrative of contrasting styles, ideologies, and regional identities that captivated fans not just in America, but around the globe. Magic Johnson, with his captivating charm and dazzling playmaking, brought the high-octane, glamorous style of the West Coast to the forefront. His flair on the court wasn't just about scoring, it was about putting on a show, embodying the glitzy, entertainment-soaked vibe of Hollywood. Opposite him, from the rugged terrains of the East, stood Larry Bird, a man whose stoic presence and blue-collar work ethic personified the gritty, resilient spirit of Boston. Bird didn't just play basketball, he battled, he persevered, he outworked his opponents with a relentless tenacity that became the hallmark of his career. As leaders of their respective teams, Magic and Bird did more than just compete for victories. They ignited a passion for basketball across the nation, turning each of their encounters into a must-watch event. This rivalry wasn't merely about athletic competition, it was a larger-than-life spectacle that drew millions to their television sets and filled arenas to the brim. Each matchup pushed these athletes to the pinnacle of excellence, each striving to outdo the other, not just to win a game, but to prove their mettle as the best in the world. Their battles on the grand stage of the NBA didn't just decide championships, they shaped the future of the league itself. Through their epic confrontations, Magic and Bird forged a new legacy for the NBA catapulting the sport to unprecedented levels of popularity and respect. They transformed basketball into a national obsession, a sport that could rival any form of entertainment in terms of drama and excitement. Their rivalry wrote new chapters in the NBA's history, teaching us all a lesson in greatness and the power of sports to unite people across different backgrounds and regions. Through their fierce yet respectful clashes, Magic and Bird didn't just play the game, they revolutionized it, elevating the sport of basketball to a spectacle of national significance and leaving a legacy that would inspire future generations long after they hung up their sneakers. This rivalry was not just about the points scored or the games won, it was about the indelible impact on the cultural fabric of sports and an enduring narrative that would be recounted for generations to come. We begin in the fiery crucible of the 1979 NCAA championship game, a matchup that laid the foundation for a decade-spanning rivalry. Now, imagine this. On one side, Magic Johnson, the epitome of charisma. His smile alone could energize an arena, leading the charge for the Michigan State Spartans. On the other side, Larry Bird, the stoic, ice-cold sniper from French Lick, Indiana, practically carrying the Indiana State Sycamores on his broad shoulders. Folks, this wasn't just another college game. This was a saga unfolding right before our eyes. Magic Spartans came out on top, but what we were really witnessing was the beginning of an era. These young gladiators, Magic and Bird, entered the NBA later that year. Bird flying to the Celtics, Magic setting his sights on the Lakers. And let me tell you, the stage was set for a series of duels that would go down in history. Now, as these two legends entered the NBA, it wasn't just about basketball. It was about contrasting styles and personalities that captured the essence of their teams and cities. Magic, with all that Hollywood glitz and glamor, played with a flair that dazzled fans and dazzled opponents alike. Meanwhile, Bird, that man was a craftsman, precise and relentless, embodying the blue-collar grit that Boston so loves. Their clashes weren't just games, they were epic tales of clash and charisma that lifted the NBA from the sports pages to the front page. Every time they stepped on the court, it was more than a game. It was a battle for the ages, elevating 
the entire league with each play. Now, fast forward to the electric atmosphere of the 1980s. Let me just say, the NBA Finals during this period, they were nothing short of a personal stage for the monumental showdowns between these two icons. The Lakers and Celtics clashed in the finals, not once, not twice, but three times in this electrifying era, 1984, 1985, and 1987. And each of these series, ladies and gentlemen, they weren't just basketball games. Oh no, they were epic narratives, battles of wills and tactics, replete with all the drama you could ever ask for. In 1984, the drama escalated to unprecedented levels. Bird Celtics and Magic's Lakers clashed in an intense, grueling seven-game series that tested every ounce of their endurance, strategic acumen, and willpower. It was a heavyweight bout in every sense, with every game a battle of attrition and intellect. Larry Bird emerged as the victor, leading the Celtics to yet another championship triumph. Meanwhile, Magic faced a torrent of criticism, accused of buckling under the intense pressure, of not stepping up when it mattered most. But let me share something about the greats, the true legends of the game. They don't just crumble under criticism. They listen, they learn, and they come back even stronger. And come back stronger, Magic did. The very next year, in 1985, it was Magic's time to shine. In a dramatic reversal of fortunes, he led the Lakers to a stunning victory right in the heart of enemy territory, on the famed parquet floor of the Boston Garden, no less. This victory was not just about winning a game, it was a resounding statement. Magic's performance was nothing short of a masterclass in resilience, leadership, and sheer determination. He played with a fire and a finesse that left no doubts about his prowess and his place in the pantheon of basketball legends. Fast forward to 1987, and the stage was set yet again for Magic to dazzle the basketball world. During what many hail as one of the most unforgettable NBA Finals performances, Magic Johnson unveiled his now iconic Junior Skyhook in Game 4. That single move, that critical moment, wasn't just a display of skillful basketball, it was a strategic masterstroke that pierced the hearts of the Celtics and their fervent fans. This wasn't merely a scoring play. It was the decisive blow that clinched the Lakers' championship victory and cemented Magic Johnson's legacy as one of the all-time greats in NBA history. Each of these moments, each battle, wasn't just a game. They were chapters in a storied rivalry that defined an era showcasing the sheer brilliance and competitive spirit of two of the game's most legendary figures. These episodes of resilience and redemption are what sports legends are made of, where heroes rise, fall, and rise again, forever leaving their mark on the hearts of fans around the world. These weren't merely games. They were chapters in a grand basketball odyssey that captivated fans across the globe, pushing the NBA into a new era of popularity and prestige. Now, let me be crystal clear. When we talk about this epic rivalry between Magic Johnson and Larry Bird, we simply cannot overlook the profound racial dynamics that it encapsulated. Remember, this was the 1980s. The Lakers with their Showtime flair epitomized the dazzling spectacle of Hollywood. This team, predominantly black, became a beacon of style, speed, and Flash, resonating with the excitement of the West Coast. Meanwhile, the Boston Celtics, steeped in their blue-collar ethos, reflected the gritty, hard-nosed approach of a predominantly white team that resonated deeply with their Boston fan base. This contrast wasn't just in playing styles, but in the very makeup of the teams and their communities. The rivalry between Magic and Bird thus transcended the hardwood floors of the basketball courts it mirrored the societal racial tensions of the time. However, instead of fueling these divisions, this rivalry played a pivotal role in bridging them. These two legends, through their fierce competition and mutual respect, demonstrated profoundly that excellence knows no color. 
Their battles on the court showed that talent and teamwork speak louder than any societal divides. Moving on to how they saved the NBA, ladies and gentlemen, this is no small feat. The 1970s were not kind to the NBA, with financial troubles and waning fan interest. But then came Magic and Bird, like heroes in a sports saga. Their rivalry reinvigorated the league. It wasn't just about bringing the excitement back. It was about transforming the NBA into primetime television. Their matchups boosted TV ratings, packed arenas, and more importantly, they brought people together. Fans from diverse backgrounds were glued to their screens, witnessing what can only be described as basketball history. Their games were more than competitions. They were blockbuster events, must-see TV that captivated the nation. Magic's unparalleled charisma and Bird's relentless tenacity were made for the spotlight. They didn't just play the game. They elevated it to an art form, setting a new standard for what basketball could and should be. Their legacy is nothing less than a revitalized NBA, a league that not only survived, but thrived, growing in popularity and becoming a global phenomenon well into the 90s and beyond. Magic and Bird did more than anyone could have anticipated. They didn't just play basketball. They transformed it. They defined an era. And they showed us all the unifying power of sports. In conclusion, when we delve deep into the saga of Magic Johnson and Larry Bird, we're not merely discussing two of the premier icons to ever grace a basketball court. We're reflecting on two monumental figures who revolutionized the NBA. Their rivalry? It was more than a spectacle. It was a profound lesson in greatness, a vivid tale of contrast that not only captured the imagination of sports enthusiasts around the world, but also resonated across cultures. This rivalry extended far beyond the simple metrics of points scored and games secured. It was about their undeniable impact, the indelible legacy they etched into the annals of sports, and the transformative power they wielded. Magic and Bird, along with their respective teams, the flashy Lakers and the gritty Celtics, didn't just play the game. They transcended it. They celebrated it. And crucially, they saved it. And so, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Magic Johnson versus Larry who? Larry Bird. That's precisely who. This wasn't merely a rivalry. It was a lifeline thrown to a league that was desperately gasping for air. A story for the ages that underscored the profound impact of sports as a unifying force. Today, we've taken a look back at a rivalry that didn't just reshape the NBA. It rewove the very fabric of sports culture itself. Through their years of confrontation and competition, these two legends not only elevated their game, but also illuminated the potential of sports to bridge cultural and societal divides. Their epic matchups were more than thrilling games. They were chapters in a larger story that demonstrated how rivalry mixed with mutual respect can elevate a sport. Their enduring impact continues to influence not only the players who follow in their footsteps, but also the millions of fans who look back on their encounters as defining moments in sports history. Their legacy is not just in the records they set or the titles they won, but in the spirit of competition and unity they fostered across generations. Thank you for watching today's video. Please remember to like and subscribe.